Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're gonna to be discussing some do's and don'ts when creating cardi cows with your Cricut. Now cardi cows are one of the top projects I hear of people making with their Cricut. They're cheap, they're easy, and they're very quick to create. So why wouldn't you wanna create them? Now, that being said, there are some really great rules that we here at Oak and Lamb have kind of honed in on through our years of making Cardi Cows, and we would love to share those with you today. So, while you're making your Cardi Cows in the future, keep these in mind to make sure you always have a successful outcome. I will mention, while this video is filled with amazing tips and tricks on how to make sure your decals come out perfect every time, I do want to let you know we are not making a car decal in this video because there's already an incredible video about it. If you're looking for some training on how to make the perfect Cricut car decal, I will link it up here above as well as in the description below. Uh, Miss Becca created a video that is exceptional on a bunch of really great tips and tricks when creating your car decals. Okay, now the first point can sound like a no-brainer, but make sure whenever you're creating your decal, you're using a really good quality vinyl. We love to use vinyl from 143vinyl.com. We use StarCraft Premium Vinyl. There are so many colors. The selection is great. The shipping is super fast. Customer service is awesome, and we love it. So if you're in the market for some vinyl, definitely check out 143vinyl.com. They have some great options. StarCraft Premium is our favorite vinyl. However, if you have a favorite, that is fine. Just make sure it is a good quality vinyl. You will get a lot more life out of your decal if you're using a good quality vinyl. If you're not sure what a good quality vinyl is, I urge you to check out our video all about vinyl types and differences. We also have some really great recommendations for some options for you. If you are a Cricut beginner looking for vinyl, there is a great resource there for you in that video as well. So the quality of your vinyl can make or break your project for sure. Make sure you're going with the good brand, good quality vinyl, and you are on your road to success. One question we get all the time when working with car decals is, hey, can I place my car decal on the inside of my window facing outward? That way I don't have to worry about the sun damage or the heat really getting to that decal as it would if it was outside of my window. Well, the problem is most cars, at least on the back half, do have tinted windows. So that would kind of create a problem, of course, with you being able to see the decal properly. Also, there is an issue with bubbling on the back side of vinyl. If you have ever placed regular adhesive vinyl onto a flat surface like glass or something like that and flipped it over to see the back, you'll be able to see little microscopic bubbles that were pretty noticeable, of not by the front, of course, but on the back where that adhesive has uh, stuck down to that glass. You do see bubbles like that. So because of these reasons, we really do not recommend you placing the vinyl inside your car facing out. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Make sure you do clean your car very thoroughly before you apply your vinyl. One way that your vinyl is going to peel up a lot quicker than it should is if it's placed down on dirty glass or a dirty bumper. You want to make sure that you give your vinyl the best chance possible at sticking really well to whatever surface you're applying it to. And one way you can do that is by cleaning it really well. For a car, depending on how dirty it is, I would recommend going outside with a wet soapy washcloth running that around on your glass or on your bumper of your car, wherever you're placing your sticker, letting that dry and then going in with some rubbing alcohol and allowing that to kind of clean off the rest of the dirt and debris and things off of your car. You want it to be very clean and very dry before you place your decal on there. I am guilty of this one. So if you are too, I totally understand, but you need to make sure you don't Place your decals in the way of lights or your rear windshield wiper. Uh, now, I have placed some car decals right where my brake lights are before, and that is a little bit dangerous. You want to really make sure you're clear of this. 
uh, with other drivers for safety, for yourself for safety. You really want to make sure your all of your lights are properly working and properly completely visible on your car. That is just kind of a safety thing. Now I got my windows tinted on my car and I actually couldn't see my brake light. It is on the interior of my car and it kind of shines out from the back of my windshield and I did not notice it. So I placed a decal right in the center on the bottom of my windshield and that is right where my brake lights were. So don't do what I did. Make sure that you uh, check where your brake lights are if they are interior like mine that just kind of shine out the back of the dash there. Uh, so check that. Make sure that you are staying safe as you do this, placing your decals in a good spot for um, road safety and all that good stuff. So something to think about also, of course, my car does not have a rear windshield wiper, but I have seen people place their decals where their rear windshield wiper is. And let me tell you, constant back and forth of a wiper blade is going to peel that up super, super quickly. It's really going to deteriorate your vinyl decal and we don't want that. So try and steer clear of areas where that is going to be swiping as well. Make sure you do size your decal properly. Now this is something that's pretty controversial. A lot of people have some opinions on this. However, listen to what I'm saying to you. If your decal is three inches and you place it on your car, you are not going to be able to see it. Passersby are not going to be able to see it. People behind you in the line at Starbucks are not going to see it. Your car decal needs to be larger in order to see it. Now, there is some rhyme and reason to that. If you have a four inch decal and it's like a round basic shape, bold letter, bold font, bright color decal, you're probably not going to have problems seeing that. If your decal has a lot of text in it and a lot of detail and things like that, and it's that small, no one's going to be able to read letters that teeny tiny. You know what I'm saying? Now on the flip side of that, you don't want your decal to be too large as well. Again, if it is too big, it could get in the way of those brake lights or your rear windshield wiper if you have one of those and you just don't want it to take up too much space on your back window if that's where you're putting it because again with road safety it can get a little dangerous if you're taking up you know half your back windshield with one decal you need to be able to see out the back windshield properly uh, to be safe on the road and you do not want it too big however there is like a very fine line happy medium i personally would rather my decal be too large than too small that doesn't mean taking up half my windshield but if i am trying to debate between four inches or six inches i would rather go with six inches and have it a little bit larger a little bit easier for passersby to see because that's kind of the whole point of a sticker on your car is for other people to see it and if it's not who cares? Make it as small as you want. But if you wanted people to read it, make sure it's big enough for them to read. You gotta think about 10, 10 to 12 feet back at least. So make sure that you are placing it on your car, standing back, making sure you can read it, other people can read it, and things like that. As much as we love creating car decals, one thing we cannot suggest you guys to do is use printable vinyl for them. Unfortunately, every test we have went through has not really passed as far as sun damage wear and tear goes. We're not saying that you can't do it, you totally can. Just know that the stickers and the quality of the colors of the ink and the print will not last very long, even when sealed with different types of things. We have tested a lot of different things here at Oak and Lamb, and unfortunately, print and cut stickers do not do very well. We recommend you using a professional print company that you purchase stickers from that are sent to you. They are made with a way more durable type of material than what you could ever use with your Cricut and print and cut. Regular vinyl stickers will last a good long time, but print and cut stickers, that's a different story. So definitely heed our word on that. They only last a couple of weeks, especially if you don't have a garage to park under and your car is exposed to the heat, the uh, humidity, the weather, the snow, the rain, all that good stuff will really damage the color of the ink in that decal. So do think about that as well. One thing we do recommend is having a partner or a buddy or somebody with you as you're applying the decal to your car that can go back about 10 or 15 feet and tell you if it is even or not. 
I don't really have diagnosed OCD, but I can tell you it really bugs me when I'm behind someone at a stoplight and I see that they were trying to make their decal straight and it's a little off or it's a little down. It really, really makes me angry. I don't know why it makes me so mad it's not my car, but I can see that they were trying to get it straight. And one thing that I can level with is the frustration of the driver. Maybe when they placed it, they wanted it straight as well. Then they placed it, walked back and realized it wasn't straight. You only really have one chance to lay down a vinyl decal. So you want to make sure it is perfect the first time. Otherwise, you'll be going out there with a weeding tool and scraping all of that off and recutting it, reweeding it, all that good stuff. So have somebody behind you get a little bit low as you're placing that vinyl sticker and allow them to let you know high on the left, let it go down, you know, scooch it to the right, something like that. You really need the help. It can look super straight when you're right close to it, but back about 10 feet, it could be a whole different story. That's why it's really important to have a buddy there with you to make sure you place it on properly. A mistake I see a lot of drivers make is not using a complimentary color. So make sure you do use a nice color of vinyl that complements your car, but has a high contrast to your windows. A lot of people think that black is a super safe color, but they don't take into account that their back windows could be a dark tint already. Then you wouldn't be able to see it. Or let's say your car is like a forest green color. You wanna make sure you place a vinyl color on your window or your bumper that complements that color. You don't want it to be the complete opposite of that color or something that really clashes with it. You want it to complement well with the color of your uh, paint on your car and the color of your window tinting. Some window tint is you know, non-existent. You can see right through your car. That way you can kind of use whatever color you wanted to. However, if your tint is super, super dark, you want to steer clear of the blacks, the grays, the browns, things like that, the deeper colors like maroon. You want to make sure it pops off of your windshield and then they can see it really well. Last but not least, do not use small or thin fonts in your decals on your car. The larger the surface area of the vinyl letters that you have, the more adhesive there is to stick to that window and the longer and better your decal will stay on there. If you're using little bitty thin letters, that's not a lot of adhesive under that thin letter to stick to the window. You want bigger, bolder letters to give a lot more surface area for that stick to adhere really well. If your letters are thin, they are way more likely to chip off, come off, or to allow water or debris or the sun to really get underneath that adhesive and damage it. So think about that as you're designing your decal as well. I hope you've learned a lot in this vinyl decal do's and don'ts for your car. There's a lot to learn as far as Cricut goes and if you are a beginner we can help you here at Oak and Lamb. We have a lot of great beginner training here for you and we would love to welcome you as a part of our flock. If you would like to use the code YouTube you can receive a special discount on our membership and get your first month with us for only $9.99. We have hundreds of cut files, free commercial licensing on those cut files, great member only content and an exclusive Facebook community that is absolutely priceless. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and ring that bell to get notified when more amazing videos like this come out. I can't wait to see you another day for another video.